Hi, I'm Sean. I'm the head coach at Let's Get Running. And on the Let's Get Running podcast, I'm going to be documenting my attempt to run sub 2 hours 20 at the Frankfurt Marathon this year. Now, during this process, I'm going to be lucky enough to be trying this here. This is the human ketone ester. Now, what are ketones? You've probably heard of them before. Uh, they're naturally produced. You can produce them through fasting or a ketogenic diet. That's limiting the amount of carbohydrate that you're, you're taking on. Um, and ketones are a fuel, a very efficient fuel. Um, it can be burned. Apparently, human are saying that that's 28% more efficient than the muscle glycogen as a fuel for working muscles. Now, what's the difference with this? Well, human, this is a ketone ester. It's a consumable form of ketones. And essentially, instead of having to go through these, these diets where you're limiting the amount of carbohydrate in order to become a better fat burner, what they're essentially doing is, is giving you another option in your arsenal. So you don't become, by drinking this, immediately a fat burning machine. You're still going to burn carbohydrates, but you're going to burn less as a proportion. And also you have these ketones available for you to use in the course of your marathon. Now for me, that's going to be really, really helpful. So I generally have trouble bonking after about mile 20. So if I can burn less muscle glycogen um, during the course of the marathon, it's going to be a good thing for me. Now I'm going to be trying these out uh, in the forthcoming race, the half marathon. I'm going to show this through the video. Hopefully it will uh, show how it works uh, and I'll give you some more details. Any more details about this, check out our episode with Brianna Stubbs. She is uh, one of the founders of uh, Human. She's been working on the project for a long time. Check out the episode and you can hear more about what it's about and how I'm going to be using it. So hey, I'm here on the morning of the Bridgewater Half Marathon and I'm going to try my uh, ketone ester from human right now and see how it goes down and then I'll report back after the race. So here we go, 25 millilitres. Oh. oh, it tastes a bit like booze. Oh. But um, yeah, let's hope it does some the trick. I'll just finish it right off. Mm -hmm. Wow, lovely. Let's hope it works. So this is the after, after the half marathon of Bridgewater. Unfortunately, I didn't have a great performance, but I don't think that was anything to do with the keto, uh, per se. Uh, I tried to go out and push hard from the beginning. Uh, maybe with the placebo of the keto helped me do that, but uh, I crashed and burned a bit from, from mile nine. But I don't think it was to do with running out of gas. I think it was just because I was running too hard. And I'm recovering a bit from a cold, which I've had for the last couple of weeks. So I don't think I can say affected me adversely or positively really. I did feel better going up the hills actually but I could push up the hills and didn't feel I had as much lactic acid in my legs so perhaps that was a benefit from, from the keto. We'll see you on the next test. Okay this is my second go at the human keto and I'm going to give it a drink now. I've got a 30k session planned this morning with a large portion of marathon pace. It's going to be a tough workout. Let's see if it does, any, uh, does the trick for me a bit later. Remember it tastes a bit off but let's give it a, a down and see how that goes. Get the damn cup open. Mm. <sighs> wow. Mm. So that's all down. I'm going to go for this run and report back later on and see how it went. Okay, so I'm, I'm just back from my, it ended up being a 35k workout. And it was very, very interesting actually. We did the first 15k 80% of marathon pace, which for me, that's four minute Ks, and it was, it was bang on, a bit windy, but we, we stayed around that kind of pace. We did 5K then of surges of one minute, fast, one minute back at about 80% of marathon pace. And again, felt fine, felt great, the legs a bit tired, so I've been training a lot recently, so that's to be expected. So that brings us to 20K. We then had 5K again at 80% marathon pace. Everything fine, that's 25K. And then we had 10K left, where we tried to start a marathon pace, and then try and push the last 3K. So we started off, started off great, it was again into a headwind, so we were a little bit slower than 3.20, which is what I'm aiming for. But we got a bit faster, and we had to the last 3K, and actually my buddy, Zach, who I do my, most of my long running with, um, he dropped me, or he got ahead of me with about 4 or 5K to go. And at that stage, I was, I was thinking, when can I drop out? <laughs> um, and I was thinking, how am I going to get out of this with, with my dignity intact? But... Somehow, I don't know what it was, it might not have been the ketone, it might have been, I suddenly, you know, I had a, a surge or mentally I got my act together. With three kids ago, I managed to surge and actually I went from being behind my buddy to being in front of him and to actually to him be hanging on to me and, and to build up a gap of about 10 seconds towards the end. So, who knows if it was the ketone, who knows what it was, whether I'm suddenly, you know, coming into my own, but certainly I felt like I had a second wind after that 30k when my, my tanks usually would have run out. So, 
let's see the marathon, let's see if it works there. So this is the aftermath of the final test, which was the marathon, the Frankfurt Marathon this year. And if you take my result in itself, it doesn't make for good reading. So my goal was to run sub 220, and unfortunately I finished in, in just over 240. So uh, a bit of a drop in performance there. And I can't give you a conclusive answer about why that happened. I mean, there's a variety of different factors. I was, I was ill in the week leading up to the race. I took medicines at Prax in retrospect I shouldn't have done. I had various stomach problems. I just, I just wasn't settled in the race. And in the end, it was really a damage limitation exercise out there on the, on the course. So in terms of this video, I can't give you a conclusive answer about whether human adversely or, or, or positively affected my performance. But what I would say is, is I would give them another go. And I think I'm going to try again on my next marathon and see how that works. The test we did in the lead up showed there is a positive reaction, I think. So it's worth another go. And I recommend you read more about them and check them out.